okay? The easiest way I could think of. Okay, and there's a lot of people out there asking, can you do this with just CSS and HTML? You cannot because you need to get, um, you need to have a database, okay? Um, you could write this to a text file. I don't re recommend you doing that. I recommend using a database. You, you just, you can't do this with HTML and CSS, okay? And uh, if you want it to use you know if you want the page not to refresh or anything I mean you couldn't even do it without without uh, using PHP or something so this can't be done using HTML and CSS for all those people that want to know that I've uh, seen a lot of people asking if you can and you can't so I'm going to show you the CSS file now okay here's the CSS file and this is the font that Facebook uses. Okay. Now we don't need the font size. Uh, I think they use 11 pixels. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Um, okay. And the margin top left. This is for the body. You don't need that. This is that's just for this tutorial to put it where I want it in the screen. Okay, and here's the links. Now all these colors are Facebook colors um, that I got them all off their website. As close as I could get, I changed them a little so they're not 100% Facebook, so I'm not copywriting them. But I'm not using the script, okay? I just am making it to show you how you can make a Facebook status update, okay? You can change these links whatever color you want. I I try to I would comment all out, but you know I figure I just explain it all to you because it's easier if I explain it. Okay, this is the blue text for the uh, username, and uh, basically what we do here just make the font weight bold the text field uh, overflow we hide it so if anything goes over it's hidden so that's the text right here so like I said I do uh, any overflow I do hide it it looks better so because I did not want to lose the text so that's why we put in a line break every 60 you can change that to whatever you want if you make your, uh, your div wider okay then the container um, the width I did as close as I could get to Facebook um, I know we'll, here's what I'm talking about we do the border on the top this is the first container the first div okay now that's how we get the border on the top this is the image um, that it's the it's the arrow that points up on our status update box okay and um, I'm gonna put this in a zip file on uh, rrpower.com so you can get all the images and because um, you're gonna need the top arrow image and the loading image so you can just download this um, I'm gonna put a link in the description and then you'll have the uh, arrow, the loading. Okay. Um, this is the input box. Um, we set the width, the height, um, the padding, border, um, outline none, and uh, resize. We don't want it to be able, um, in some browsers, supports a resize, like uh, Google Chrome. So we don't want the text box to be um, resizable. So we set that to none. And the outline, um, I'm pretty sure Facebook leaves the outline on. That's so when you click on the text box, it leaves a, in like Google Chrome, it leaves a yellow um, outline. And um, Safari leaves a blue. Uh, I don't like that. So I just hide it. I don't like seeing that. It doesn't look good to me. Okay. <clears throat> Then we got our shared um, class, 
I'm not going to go into detail on all these because you can just basically figure out what these do. This is going to float it left, um, put the position, the relative, and then our color is going to be uh, 80, 80, 80. Okay, and then our status. <clears throat> okay. Um, this is going to be uh, the another image. Um, is this uh, top stat? Okay, and that is right here. This is the status. Now, what I did is I just used one div, and what we do is we're going to put the image in here. Okay, I'm going to show you how <clears throat> right here how I. Okay, right here, uh, the image and status are in one div. Okay, I didn't use two separate divs. And I put an image tag in there. I did it one. Okay, that's right here. Status and status right here okay so all I did is I did the width and then I just uh, text aligned to the right so the text is gonna it's gonna align it's just gonna float to the right okay font weight bold and then we're gonna take this div and float that to the left okay so we have the uh, column status um, uh, the status okay um, this is the text status uh, loading image we float that to the right uh, so that one div I was showing you with the uh, share and the status um, that's all floated to the left and then we float this to the right okay um, status image uh, then the status text uh, the date um, you can change that to whatever color you want I got that as close as I could to the Facebook um, color for it and then um, next we have is the button okay you can change this colors um, I have a tutorial on um, the buttons um, how to make them and I show you the divs and stuff and uh, these are Facebook colors these are the colors they use okay and the next thing I'm going to show you is the uh, um, connection file okay okay <clears throat> that was very easy um, you just call this one connect.php um, we're going to use the uh, MySQL Connect. Um, <clears throat> your host, here's your uh, username, your password to your database. Um, and then if we can't connect, uh, we'll just throw an error, uh, cannot connect to um, MySQL. Uh, then the next thing we're going to do is MySQL select a database. Okay, this right here is your database name. If you can't find out what your database name is, uh, contact your um, host and uh, ask them for your uh, details. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw an error, uh, no database. Okay. So if uh, we're not successful connecting to our database, we're going to say, uh, cannot connect to MySQL. And then if we do connect and there's a problem with <coughs> Our database doesn't exist or there's something wrong we're gonna throw this error and if both of them are wrong our username and password and there's no database we're gonna throw them both okay I hope you uh, like this tutorial um, please subscribe and rate it and uh, check out rrpower.com we got more tutorials on there for you and um, sometime soon I'm gonna have the uh, new um, Facebook style uh, status update and uh, with the comment uh, and like and uh, we'll load all your statuses from your database in there and um, we'll have the comment box slide down just like Facebook does and then uh, one of these days I'm gonna make a um, Facebook um, website just like Facebook to show you how they do everything so uh, just uh, subscribe because they will be coming pretty soon. I'm going to start working on sometime this month. So uh, please uh, subscribe and rate this video. And uh, thank you for watching.